Welcome back everyone to Intro to JavaScript. This will be episode four, and this will be about functions here. So functions in JavaScript are a specific type of object you can use to execute code based on a certain set of parameters or values that are passed in. You don't have to have parameters, but the vast majority of functions and helper functions that you'll see will have parameters passed in. So how do we write a function in JavaScript? There's a couple different ways we can go about it. So the most traditional way will be to write it out new func something like this now this creates a new function variable called new func that stores the, de the declaration of this function and parameters are values that we can pass into a function to assist during runtime so let's say we wanted to pass in a value that we wanted to use during the function we can do that with parameters up here so inside the parentheses we can go ahead and declare our parameters so this will be param1 so what a parameter is is it's just a, a it's technically a variable that's created in the local scope of the function here that is determined by values passed into it at runtime. You can also hear these called arguments, but for the purpose of our lesson today, this will be parameters. So parameters are what they are called in the declaration and technically arguments are what they're called when they're passed in during runtime. So up here we have our first parameter. So let's go ahead and console log out param1 just so we get a, an idea of what's going on here. Now I'm gonna run this code and nothing's gonna happen and I'll explain why here in just a moment. Now when I run this function, nothing is gonna happen and I'll explain why here in a moment. So if we see our terminal here, nothing is printed out to the terminal despite the fact that I have a console log statement in here. So what's happening is this is a function declaration. This is the same as if we were to declare a, fun, uh, declare a variable in our code but never use it. So this code is never being run because we're never calling this function. Function. What we can do to call a function is we use a syntax much like this. So new func, and then we put parentheses around it. And now we can pass in, you see up here how it says param1. We can pass in a value for the, the, the program to give the function. So we can go ahead and give it a string called hello world. And now if we run this program again, you'll see hello world is printed out to the, uh, the console here. And that's because this string is being assigned as param1 when this is run. So we're saying, hey, call new func and then give it this string called hello world. And then the function goes, hey, I've been called. And hey, I got a piece of data. We're gonna call that data param1. Now we can use it inside the function as if we were typing in hello world here. But the great, the great thing about this is you can reuse code. So now we can go ahead and do new func, how are you? and run it again hello world how are you so you see without writing another console log statement we've got this and this is just a very basic example we can go ahead and go much more in depth with this so let's go ahead and perform some operations on this so we'll go ahead and get rid of these and now we're going to go and assume that param1 is going to be a number we're going to expect it to be a number in javascript there's no real way for us to say hey this needs to be a number in the in the actual declaration here. Um, that's more of a, a TypeScript thing. And TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that you can learn after the basics of JavaScript. So what we can do here is we're going to assume param1 is going to be a number of some sort. Let's say this is a helper function that we're doing something else. And we need to find, you know, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the square of new func, so, or uh, of param1. We can do param1 and we can actually, let's do this inside the console log statement. Param1 and we can do it in two different ways. We can do param1 or we can do uh, pow2. But for now, we'll just do this. And we can see if we go ahead and run new func and give it a value of two, we run this code, we see we get four to the terminal because we're, we're just, we're modifying that data now. We're doing something with it. And this is why functions are so powerful because if you find yourself writing, you know, let's do console log two, times two and you have console log four times four you know maybe console log six times six or something like that you know you see how we're getting really duplicated at this point so there's a there's a concept in programming called dry programming what that means is don't repeat yourself dry code is readable it's easy to understand because you don't have a bunch of this going on we can even do fine squared so we can rename this this to be a more accurate name for that function. So now we can do find squared of two, find squared of four, and find squared of six. 
And this, this just allows us to keep a nicer look on our code. So functions are incredibly powerful and you can use them to even modify data even further. So we can do what's called a return statement. And what a return statement is, this will stop the execution of the function beyond this point. So return will exit out of the function immediately and return a specific value. If there's nothing after it, it'll be undefined because we didn't define a value. But what we can do is we can return a value of param one, times param one. And what this will do is instead of logging it out, it'll actually give us that value. So what we can do is we can assign that to a number even. So we can do let squared number equals, we can even let's declare the actual number, let num to square equal, let's say two for now squared number equals find squared times num to square and let's console log out squared number so now let's go through this so we've got our function up here that takes in a parameter we're calling it here with this num to square so it's going to pass in this num to square variable which is two so find squared two so we come up here two we're returning the value, which means we're giving back the value from the function of param one times param one or two times two. And then we're storing it in this squared number variable here. And then we're gonna log out squared number. So now that we understand the logic behind it, let's go ahead and execute the program. And you see we get four again here because we're passing in two to the function and then we're squaring it and returning the value here. So this is incredibly powerful and it allows us to do so many more things in JavaScript without writing the same code over and over and over again. And I hope you enjoyed the shorter episode today. This was just a high level overview of what a function is and how we can use it. We'll be going much more in depth with this later in this series. But for now, this has been Doug with Menu Docs, signing off. Have a great day.